What should the intro be? I'm not sure. Hi. Hola. <laughs> Today we're doing a girl talk. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We asked you guys on my Instagram stories what you guys wanted to know. I've already seen most of these questions. They're kind of juicy. Oh, <laughs> I like it juicy. You You picked the first question. You can like scroll through. But like, okay, okay you guys seriously delivered. Like, look at this. You've got mail. I do got mail. Gaia. Gaia. <laughs> Sorry. How are you asking? <laughs> yeah. Um. um. <laughs> this is something. Don't date a guy for his potential. Date a guy for who he is now. Yep, that's good. If you have a crush, don't tell them you have a crush on them, and then say, "I hope we can still be friends," because um, that that was that ended very badly for me. Honestly, yeah, that <laughs> ended really badly for a lot of my other friends too. You should admit your feelings, but don't make it awkward. Like, make it just like really casual. Just like, "Hey, I like you." It's not like that big of a deal. I just had to get that off my chest. Mhm. Mm because if you're like, I hope we can still be friends, it like kind of distracts the point. Yeah, just like make your point and yeah. keep it in the conversation, that conversation. Don't bring yeah. it up anytime else. That's kind of our guy advice. There's a lot of other guy questions in here as well. But that's like <laughs> really general. I don't know how well, well we'll deliver. How do you study the Bible? How do you uh, d uh, read it? And then I like to read it. Um, I like highlighting and just kind of getting at the main points. And then if there's any words like I'm unsure of, um, I'll go and I'll find the definitions and I'll write them down in my Ooh. Bible. Yeah. And I try to, and then I, my mind makes up its own little situations and like pieces it together. I like to do little devotionals. I have a few devotion books. Those help a lot. I have one in this drawer. I got this for my birthday from a friend. And it's so the Sadie cute. Robertson. Your um, turn, Pookie. I'm just the pookiest Pookie Bear. How are you doing? I'm pretty radical. We go to the beach a lot, and that's yeah. really fun. Lately, it's been easier to go to the beach, and I was really depressed because you couldn't go to the beach. And because I'm, of spring breakers, too. I'm, <laughs> spring break is literally the worst time for Florida people. It's just, it's chaotic, but I did find a way to make money. Wait. How? So you were gonna go into the cooler, and you're gonna go buy some water as well, and you're just gonna fill up and buy some water, right? And then you walk down the beach with a sign. I did this on my spring break, I made a bunch of money. You walk down the beach with a sign, a dollar water, or like a dollar for two waters, right? Bro, the spring breakers that are also there during our spring break? Whoa. You know, the worst bit is the spring breakers that come the week before our spring break. Yes. Because then we're like just trying to chill. Like, when I see the Colorado license plate, mm, New Yorkers. Mm. Mm. Somebody just said wanna play. What in the Game Master? Rebecca Zamalo? <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I, I think so. I mean, like, yeah. shout out to her. She's a, she's a good person, I think. How do you stay away from gossiping? Um, Wait, did I just ask you a question? Is it your turn? It's fine. Okay. Just don't. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So, <laughs> just do better. Do better, girl. You're in For public school. You're, you're probably the best person to answer this. Yes. Just kind of just try and shy away from it and just, like, don't even put yourself in the situation to listen to it. I know we have those people that like the drama, just not like being in it, but by liking it, sometimes you can be in it. <laughs> this, this, this is a situation I've been in before. So I used to have this giant friend group of girls, and there was a lot of gossiping in this. I mean, like, seventh grade girls at a lunch table together. Scary. Scary. It was just like really weird, and every single lunch time, there was always drama and sometimes it was just easier to walk away or just like sit with a different friend group and even if you have no one else to sit by make new friends yeah branch out branching out is the best thing you can ever do in middle school high school it's hard for me to branch out but i somehow managed it or passing the phone y'all passing the phone passing Oh, um, how do you French braid your hair? It's always so beautiful. I don't know how you're asking her, obviously. Um, you just braid. I'm kind of liking this little dance. I know, this should be my go-to dance move now. Braid the hair, braid the hair, braid the hair, pull the hair, pull the hair. Break the hair. Sorry, I'm getting into it. She's doing the French braid dance. I was just doing the. I was just doing the braid. She's doing the hair. Break the hair. Pull the hair. Pull the hair. Pull my sister's hair. Don't do that. <laughs> you just like 
do a normal braid, but then every single section that you pull over, you add a new piece, like, from the side. That makes sense? <laughs> this is kind of juicy. Ooh! <laughs> What do you have to say to a girl whose bestie stole her crush? Don't. I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> okay. This is a thing that you have to have a real communication talk to her about. True. You gotta, like, go have a sleepover, hang out something, get your little, little boba tea, and just, like, talk it out with her and find out the best solution. I literally did that last week. Also, it's okay to share a crush. Like, yeah. literally, it's just a guy. It is. It's just a guy, and y'all, it's just, it's just a guy. Mm. We don't really need him. No, <laughs> nobody needs him. It's just kind of a want, and like, I mean, like, yes, in the Bible, it does say, like, you do kind of need a man, like, in your life, but nobody can change the Lord's ways and his timing, so no, you don't need one right now. You need one when the Lord's time is coming. Or if you don't need one, it just depends on what he is, the little story yeah. he's going to write for you. Exactly. Yeah. Don't totally block her about it. Like, yeah. just just talk about it. Oh, that one would be fun to answer. No. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> it's a confusing story. <laughs> it's so gay. Slay. My dog is panting. He's like, are you? <laughs> My dog's trying to get in. He's like, are you okay? No, no. What do you ate for breakfast? Oh, for breakfast? I had those like little Reese Puff crunchy things. They're so good. The Reese's Puffs? What? The Reese's Puff cereal. Oh! oh. What did you eat? Cookies. I had two peanut butter cookies. How to keep in touch with friends while being homeschooled? I'm gonna be completely honest. I lost a lot of my friendships. You're gonna lose some friendships if you don't try and keep them. So just Keep texting. Make sure you're hanging out with them the same amount. Because if you're going from hanging out five days a week and to hanging out zero, then that's going to have some like sort of... In yeah. It, it, make sure that you're still hanging out. Yeah, and you'll just kind of, like, lose each other. Or oh. not, clear. Fave braces colors. Blue. Blue. I always have my go-to one. It's the uh, aqua and teal. They're really pretty. Yeah. I like the teal. I like teal. I like big butts and I can't know why. <laughs> you other brothers can't do that. When I'm, I don't know if we can sing the rest of this. This is a Christian channel. True. Okay, so we gotta do periods hurt. Depends. It really depends. Um, I personally don't get cramps. Do you? You've been blessed by God above. I know. I seriously have. <laughs> I, I don't get any periods oh sometimes. Gosh. The only thing. I just get moody. There's like essential oils you can get and you like rub, them up, rub it on, like on the area you have cramps. Like if it's on like your stomach and they immediately go away. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. One time I thought that my appendix bursted. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink grape juice and like cranberry juice, it actually helps a lot. And dark chocolate. Not the milk chocolate. Dark yeah. chocolate! You know the ones you can get at like the Dollar Tree and it's like the world's finest chocolate? Or like a dollar store? The Lindt? No, no, no. So that's fake like, dark chocolate. That has milk yeah. in it. I know, but it's like, but it's in like a white kind of uh, long packaging. Perfect. It's best dark chocolate. Don't get the nighttime pads because they're super thick and they really hurt your butt bone when you try to sleep. Huh. Yeah. Are you baptized? Um, no, not yet, but I think I'm going to get baptized and like... Me and my mom might get baptized together on Easter, <gasps> nice. on Easter morning. <gasps> Yay, I'm baptized. One time I tried to get baptized, like, in the week, I literally got COVID-19. That is the devil's work, honey. I know, hun. <laughs> Let's talk about curfews. <gasps> we love curfews. No, we don't. My curfew is basically be home when the streetlights turn on. Yep. Be home at dark. What's your curfew? Um, it's the same, right? Same thing, but like, if I have things to do at my house and stuff, then it's like, I only have an hour or 30 minutes to do something with a friend. Because uh -huh. like, right now, my room, it looks like a pigsty, so. What razor do you use? How much time do you shave your legs? What days do you shave your legs? Okay, I shave my legs on the weekends, normally like Saturday night or Friday night. Uh, the razor I use, the Gillette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I use the men's one because I think it just works better and because the women's, it's pink and it's extra price. 
Yeah. I used like the flamingo or something razor. Flamingo? Yeah. I got it because it was pretty. Is it shaped like a flamingo? No, it's just pink. It was like real pink tax, but it was pretty, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. How much times do you shave your legs? Um, I'd say, yeah, two or three times a month. I don't shave that much. My legs are very blonde. So, like, you can't see them that much. Lucky. The only, the only, yeah, like, straight up, oh, black. <laughs> yeah. The only times that I, like, you can see my leg hair is if the sun reflects it. But, like, it's not that big of a deal to me. Let's just talk about makeup tips. Yeah. Because I know we both do makeup. And skincare, too. Yes. Don't use anything that you don't have to just because mm. you want to be cool. Mm. Only use what you need because... Preppy girl aesthetic. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be preppy girl aesthetic when it comes to your face. Listen to what your parent or your guardian says about makeup. And I know that most of the time you don't want to pay attention to it. But listening to what they say... Like, they've been around longer, they know more about makeup than you. Unless they don't, then listen to somebody older that does. For days I have, I have wear foundation, this is just a little hack. I take um, a moisturizer, my primer, and it's all from the same brand. I use MAC, and I put in like maybe two drops of my foundation. Um, I mix it up, and it uh, doesn't uh, crust up as Ooh. much. And it like gives you like a really pretty glowy hue. And when you like... Um, your skin's looking really good, but there might be some like acne scars or anything. Uh, use a sheer foundation because it's more so a tint to moisturizer with a little more. Mm. Oh, I'd go with the cheaper stuff. You don't but not too cheap. Stuff. Yeah, I go for Elf. Elf, Elf is, is good. Elf is probably the best makeup brand there is. They also have a lot of dupes for things, mm -hmm. so you're basically getting the same product, but for like half or even a fraction of the price. Who said, what are your favorite traits? But I feel like we could make this more juicy. What are your favorite traits in guys? Oh. Personality is decent. They have to be Christian, because just like... Uh. If you're a Christian girly or a Christian guy, you need to be looking mm -hmm. for another... Because don't expect someone to change. God and a man of God. Yeah. yeah. Don't expect someone to change, because the only person that can change them is up there. God. Real. Yeah. Real. Obviously, looks. And I know that sounds like so bad, but come on. Do you really want someone that's like that? Yeah. Make sure you what know they like, to do. like how they act around mm -hmm. other people as well. True. Like how they act around like their friends, because it's so easy to like mask a personality for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that they're not doing that to you, and like you're actually gonna be dating the guy that you yeah. you know. Don't throw around guys, and if if a guy's watching this, don't throw around girls. Yeah. Like, it's, don't mess with them. I'll stop coming for you. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> God made us so that we could have one partner, not mm -hmm. five. And obviously, yes, divorces, breakups, they do happen, but well, it's, you should yeah. be liking somebody to date them and dating someone to marry them. Exactly. Any last thoughts, I'd just say be yourself. And ride your bike whenever you get the chance. Ride your bike whenever you get the chance. Yeah. Live your life and live, it, live your life for God. Personally, I like listening to podcasts, Christian music, and other stuff while on the bike. And it's, it's really calming, actually. Hmm. Yeah. We actually found it. Are yeah. we ready to end the video? Sure. So, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> hopefully some of these helped. Yeah. yeah, hopefully some of these helped you. And there's a new video of mine out every single week. It's usually posted between somewhere Thursday or Friday or Saturday. I can't really commit to a single day because, like, like, school and stuff. some of these more. I really should. Yeah, that would be fun. But... Thank you guys for watching. Thank Hope you. you enjoyed. Click subscribe, like the video. I don't know if my comments are turned on. I'm trying to figure that out, but like engage with this. <gasps> Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye.